Hey YouTube, today I'm going to go over how to make yourself some custom bus bars. So what what I did is I made a template and this one actually you can see I drilled off. So that was a fail. So I made another one here. And this one I got lined up real nice. So what I did is figured out how far apart I wanted my cells and made some marks on this bar. There's just a little gap between them as you can see because I don't want the cells rubbing up against each other. So, cause This is a protective wrapping. You don't want that rubbing through and uh, shorting out your cells. Over here, I took my template and I figured out where I wanted my holes. Uh, my first ones were these marks. It wasn't exactly where I wanted it. I wanted them a little closer to the edge. So I made some new marks closer to the edge. Measured out up here. My template where I wanted to go. And that'll be a bar. To find what drill bit I wanted to use, what I did is I took the end of the screw and compared it to the size of the drill bit and that one is like about perfect but I want them to have just a little bit so I'm gonna go with this drill bit right here which ends up being 1564 I took a C clamp And use my template to line up over the holes where I want it. I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to go right straight through them holes. Try and get the straightest holes possible. And that way this won't shift around. And I can just focus on drilling through there. Kind of so I have a guide. And then I'm going to drill these holes. And after I drill those... I'm going to cut this off and I'll have a little template for the rest of what I want to do. Cutting tips, I recommend not using metal blades. Even the coarse metal blades don't seem to do so well. Instead, I use like the medium wood cutting blades. There are some finer ones out there. But I use these and they seem to work very well. And also some WD-40 helps a lot when you're cutting. Spray some on your blade and where you're cutting. Definitely helps. What you do after you cut your bars off with your jigsaw, you take the bars and carefully sand them down with your sander. Uh, they'll have rough edges on them and they can be sharp, so be careful while doing it. Try and hold it on the factory edges right here and sand the sharp edges off pretty basic how to do that Just, you know, take them up against the sander and then you have a bunch of bars next we'll be drilling them out another thing to consider when making your bars this aluminum dust is horrible for you. You want to wear a mask and you want to wear safety glasses because your health is more important than anything. So 
use some safety gear. Now I'm ready to do final assembly on some headway cells. I'm going to make a 16 amp hour bank and this will basically show people what you can get the start in lithium. This costs roughly oh, $110. So I made the bars myself. They're not pretty, they're not fancy, but they work. And I did this with just the drill and a jigsaw. So anybody can do this. What I'm what I'm making is something to show that anybody can make this. <clears throat> so we have our cells. Eight cells in here. It's two eight amp hour banks that, that are gonna be parallel together for 16 amp hours. I've already balanced the cells. They were parallel balanced. What that means is I put them on long bars and let all the positives and all the negatives of the cells connect. And that way all the cells balanced evenly. This is how you do passive manual balancing. So you have all the positives on one rail all connected together and you have all the negatives on another rail all connected together. I also had to go get different screws to deal with the deeper bars. So for one side, this positive side has a little bit deeper hole. I went with uh, one M6 one by 16. And then on the other side, it's kind of shallow. So I went with M12s just so they didn't go too deep in there. So I'm going to take two of the cells and I'm going to start out just connecting a bar. This is my shallower side, so I'm going to use the M12s. You can see they don't stick through very far. Take the first cell, put it on. Okay. And then the cell going next to it goes the same way, negative down. Okay, so we got two cells on there. Now we're going to put a positive side down, and those are going to be our longer screws. Dust in there yet. <clears throat> so we can line up the cell to kind of see how far down they go. Look inside there, you can see that it's fine. I think it'd be like super, super tight. Just tight enough to hold the cells you can tell when they're tight you don't have to like crank them <clears throat> all right so these are shallower holes I'm gonna use the M 
M612s. Just going through the tank, make sure none of them came loose at all. Alright, so we connect to the positive side. Next, negative or uh, positive will go on this side. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And we'll just keep going up in series. Okay, now that we're at this point, I'll show the voltage again. We are at 10.02 volts. Alright, so one more set of cells to go. <laughs> Alright, going to put the final cells on. It's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive to negative. And we're going to do the same, positive to negative.
So we have a fully assembled bank at this point. The voltage up there. And 13.3. Exactly what we want to see. Now I'll just go ahead and put the end plates on. And we'll have a bank ready to use. All right, so now that I have the bank fully assembled, I used some black screws, some black head screws on the negative side to kind of differentiate it. So we're at 13.3, five volts. Then Go ahead and put my positive symbol on here. Bam. That's a 16 amp hour battery to use in your car. Now you'd want to put this in like some type of box or something, but when you use nice big bars like this, it's actually really sturdy. It's not flimsy. You know, like it holds nice. So you could make yourself a little box, put yourself some terminals on there, put some bolt downs on here then you have a bunch of places to just screw your wires into it turns out really nice bolt downs are like 30 35 dollars and it makes your battery look even better too so thanks for watching and if you want to get into lithium this cost me about 115 dollars support about 1600 rms uh, you can use it with AGM, uh, 160 amps max charge, so stock alternator would be just fine with this. If you have something bigger than 160 amps, you're going to want a couple more banks, and yeah. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys have. I have some new content coming up, uh, have a bunch of Slamology videos, I have a uh, Yin Long Bank that I'm going to be building and doing video of for you guys. Um, I, I have a bigger Yin Long Bank that I'm going to be building later on to show you guys, but I'll get more to that in the future. A um, bunch of different other stuff going on. so. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hope you guys enjoy the new content. Well, that was exciting.